Okay, here we are with video part 3 of the 12B13C52 chassis repairs. In video part 2 we were getting ready to do some resistance checks. Now without having to go back to video 2 to see what you're looking at, for reference let's do a quick look at the schematic again so we're on the same page. We're getting ready to check this 17K 5 watt resistor, this 470 ohm resistor, and then after we do those resistance checks, assuming these test okay, we're going to power the set back up. Let's see what kind of we'll see what kind of B plus voltages we have. It's best to take these resistance measurements when the resistor is still cold, because the resistance sometimes can go up a little bit on these when they get hot. And then go down too, but being a five watt dropping resistor, its volt its um, resistance can fluctuate a little bit with tip with. Uh, with different temperatures. Now here's our 264. This is this 17K 5 water. And on the other side of it is this 470 ohm resistor. So let's test the resistance. Make sure we get good lead contact. There we go. It's rising a little bit. We're in the vicinity of 15k ohms. So that resistor is certainly within tolerance. That's a good resistor. There's no concern there. Let's test that 470 ohm resistor. Five hundred and sixty-seven ohms. It's a little higher, but that's still okay. You should at least get a picture. So those really aren't the problem. Let's power the set back up now and do some voltage checks. One last look at the schematic here. What were the voltages we were looking for? We're looking for that 390 volts B plus right here. And if the 390 volts is there, and these resistors are okay, if these caps are okay, we should have 120 volts on pin 3. So that's what we want to check for, is the B-plus voltage of 390 volts before the dropping resistor, and then 120 volts at pin 3. TV is powering up now. Get the static coming through the speaker so you know that the TV's on. All right, let's see what kind of B plus we have. 408 volts. Well, the B plus is certainly there. I'm not really concerned over that little bit of a higher number there. Let's see what kind of voltage we got at pin 3 on the horizontal output tube. We're looking for 120. Oh, that's our trouble. Look at that. We only got 46 volts. That's definitely a problem. We got a bad capacitor somewhere. So, let's take a look and see what we got. That resistor was good. That resistor was good. We only had what? 50 some volts, something like that? At pin 3? We need 120. Well, we could check this capacitor. <coughs> Excuse me, if this capacitor is bad, meaning leaky, it could be dragging that voltage down. Same with this one. It's one of these two capacitors that's causing the problem C297 or C294. Let's check them out.
Well, there's C297. It's going from pin 3 to ground, and it's just sharing an unused tube pin as a connection for ground. That, that cap looks like it got kind of hot. See how it's kind of burnt looking? Could be a leaker. So let's test the resistance on that cap. <coughs> We're going to disconnect the horizontal output tube from the socket because by disconnecting the socket, or the tube from the socket, we've now just isolated that capacitor. We don't have to clip it out of the circuit now to test it. Let's see what kind of resistance we got. Now if this is a good capacitor, we shouldn't have a resistance. It should just basically show open. Well, there's the problem. See that? 40.7k ohms. That capacitor turned itself into a resistor. It's got a nice leak to it. It's dragging the voltage down. Now we can also check this capacitor um, C294. And that should tell us something too. C294 goes to the cathode. Let's see, pin 5. Here's, here it is. That's fine. Open. That's a good cap. We just had a quick fluctuation there when it charged. So it's C297's at this point, is the suspect. Let's clip that out of the circuit and substitute in a known good 0 .0047 microfarad disc cap. We'll get one of those here. Get a couple clip leads. Okay. And get our snips. Make sure you unplug the set, of course. And real quickly, let's remount the 6LB6. And there's the bad capacitor. We'll just clip enough of it, we can still get a clip lead on there. Here's our new capacitor. Same exact value. We'll just clip this on here. And we'll just clip this right to ground. You just go right to that plate there. That's a good ground. Now we're getting ready to power it back up. Watch video part number four for the results.